Welcome everyone. My PhD thesis is about the current epidemiological and therapeutic landscape in myasthenia gravis, NMOSD, and anti-MOG disease. My name is Mark Pavlakovic, and I work as a neurologist in a Jan Ferenc Hospital. My vision is a personalized therapy based on evidences for neuroimmune patient. My mission, introducing an up-to-date decision, uh, decision support tool uh, via a well-designed registry-based platform. Here you can see my uh, uh, topics. Let's see in detail the first one. The first one is about the efficacy and safety of plasma exchange versus intravenous immunoglobulin in moderate to severe myasthenia gravis relapse. Myasthenia gravis is Anti, uh, antibody mediated neuroimmun disorders which cause weakness in skeletal muscle. In Hungary, approximately 1,500 1, patients suffer from this disease. 20% of patients experience at least one crisis in their lives. This crisis is a life threatening condition as you can see, with a high mortality rate. How can we prevent? To prevent the progression, we have two tools, namely intravenous immunoglobulin and plasma exchange. May you ask, which one is superior? We speak about a human life, so we have to know this. Intravenous immunoglobulin is expensive, there is a shortage of supply, the mode of action is unclear. On the other hand, plasma exchange requires special equipment, trained personnel, and there is more frequent adverse events detected. For now, there is no convincing evidence to support one over the other. So our aim is to compare the efficacy and safety of intravenous immunoglobulin versus plasma exchange and what this study may add, the clinician should know whether they are interchangeable and which is preferable in a given situation. So we ask, what is the efficacy and safety profile of these tools? We investigated uh, adult patient and we hypothesized that Plex is superior to IVG in terms of efficacy and safety. We conducted our research in five databases in order to, found more, to find more articles with this search key. At the end, we found eligible three articles. Unfortunately, we have, uh, have to exclude one of them because uh, of an, an uh, uneligible uh, data. Let's see the results. The first forest plot show us the results about the efficacy. The, the efficacy parameters uh, were measured on QMG scale in two weeks. QMG scale score uh, the most frequent 13 symptoms of myasthenia gravis uh, from zero to three. The lower number on this scale uh, means a better uh, patient condition. The heterogeneity is moderate, which is come from the different treatment regimens. The mean difference is minus 2.8. This is statistically underpowered, but clinically absolutely relevant finding. Um, and both, both of the studies, both of the RCTs, uh, favors uh, plasma exchange. This number means if we use plasma exchange in case of worsening condition, we can get, we may get approximately three, uh, low, uh, three fewer points on this scale. So from this comes the question, what three points mean on QMG scale? Because I said it's, it is clinically absolutely relevant. So. Uh, here are the symptoms, which worth on this scale three, uh, three points. So if we use plasma exchange uh, for prevent the progression, maybe we can eliminate one of them, like diplopia, respiratory fa failure, or severe limb weakness. 
My second result is about the number of adverse events in 30 days. There is a low heterogeneity and, uh, and the odds ratio shows us there is no significant different differences between the two, two arms. We finished, uh, we finalized the risk, risk of bias assessment and we found the, the efficacy parameters are low risk and uh, we finished the grading and uh, it show us it's, it's high grade. As a summary, uh, let me start with uh, limitations. Of course, how you can see there are a limited number of qualifying studies, unfortunately, different, with different treatment regimens. Uh, and the outcomes are, I can say it's soft. The strengths, all was the randomized trials uh, with a blinded independent rater, and it was the first meta-analysis which evaluated only RCTs uh, in this field. As a conclusion, we can get the PLEX is superior to IVG at week two, so this is a recommendation for clinicians, uh, for researchers, of course, further, uh, further research is needed uh, and no difference at, at uh, EA, so it's a safe uh, uh, tool. We started the manuscript, uh, manuscript preparation and here you can see my progress at, in my first topic. My second topic is organizing and building the Hungarian Myasthenia Registry. Uh, as a background, uh, from the background, I would like to highlight uh, uh, there is no registry in Hungary uh, for myasthenia gravis patients, and, mo and more than 60% of patients in our hospital. So uh, we hope we're going to be a good cornerstone for a registry est establishment. Our aim is to reach the uniform uh, treatment plans and uh, create a, an epidemiological uh, landscape. Uh, we have stable uh, registry resources. Uh, the running cost is going to be covered by a Neuroimmun Society. Um, the data collection is going to be started with two administrators and after that we, we would like to develop a special software. Um, we finalized the eligibility criteria. We wrote uh, the registry uh, request forms and uh, we collected the questionnaires uh, and finalized the forms and we're waiting for a, a consensus. My last topic is update the NMOSD and MOGAD registry. Just briefly, it was a, 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 an ongoing study uh, but it was interrupted, uh, so we would like to upload uh, patients' data and analyze the mortality uh, rate. Uh, yes, here you can see my sp special goals, and thank you for your attention. Let me finish with this quote. Uh, Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Thank you so much. Could you go back to your first force plot, please? Right, in the adverse events, there is a big difference between the two articles. I mean, uh, I see that the total populations are very different, but also the ratio of adverse events recorded are also different. In one of them, it's almost 50%, and in the other, it's much less. Why do you think this happened? What was the difference between these two studies? Thank you for the question. Uh, it is because maybe uh, from the different, uh, different definition of what, what adverse events mean. So uh, it is come from maybe from this. But the article didn't mention in detail what they mean under the adverse events. So uh, it's uh, really hard to get uh, uh, normal data from, from uh, some article. Why do you consider that plasma exchange uh, is more effective? Because there is no significant uh, difference between the two groups. So, according to this uh, Flores plot. Because I just included only RCTs. Uh, 
and, and the heterogeneity is, is just moderate, I, I can believe for this. Just one other comment. Uh, I suggest you then uh, uh, write in the method section uh, the exact uh, cutoff point, what you consider moderate heterogeneity and high uh, heterogeneity. Uh, the reviewer will uh, uh, ask. Uh, regarding to your second question, uh, I said it's statistically underpowered, so I, insignificant, but clinically absolutely significant uh, result because uh, changes, changes uh, minus 2.8 is, is significant to us. So uh, it's worth to use uh, plasma exchange because uh, how I show you, uh, maybe we can eliminate one of them, uh, these uh, uh, symptoms. Uh, thank you for uh, your uh, great presentation. Um, I just wanted to ask uh, how many uh, non-RCT articles did you exclude and uh, then why did you exclude those? If you have this small number of articles. In a search key we use uh, the random uh, word, so I don't know how many uh, non-randomized trials uh, are in this field uh, because we decided just evaluate uh, our cities. So I don't know the correct uh, number, but uh, I'm looking for it because after that very low number of uh, 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 articles, I'm looking for another. But of course, we wrote down once in a Prospero. Uh, we just included uh, RCT, so, um, uh, but how I saw, it's around, not, not a big number, it's about five to 10. And they, they just uh, compare uh, with placebo. So uh, there is no another uh, uh, studies which uh, compare IVG with uh, plasma exchange. Okay, then one more question. Do you plan to make a clinical trial or, or another RCT on this topic? It's a very good question. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, for now, uh, no, uh, because uh, I have other, other plans and, and uh, the time is short.